Hello everyone and welcome to My China Moto's 2010 Indianapolis Dealer Expo Report. For those that aren't familiar with the Dealer Expo, it's the largest motorcycle and power sports industry convention in the United States. Although the show was a little smaller this year, that didn't keep the massive Indianapolis Convention Center from buzzing with activity and people working hard to make a living doing what they love. We're lucky that some of the most interesting new products on display at the Expo came from various types of partnerships with China-based motorsports manufacturers. Of all the companies bringing Chinese bikes to North America, only a handful of manufacturers are directly representing their own products on the market. John Wei, showing the strength of the scooter market by occupying space in the main hall, wins the prize for the most Chinese-English slogan at the show. Not far from John Way, CF Moto introduced its new Jet Max scooter. The Jet Max is a 4-valve, high-output, 250cc scoot with dual front disc brakes, sweeping standout from the crowd lines, and a luxurious amount of under-seat storage. The convention center is a big place, and on the second level, we got a chance to visit with American Lee Fan. American Lee Fan has a new prototype dual sport bike on display, which is currently going through EPA testing. It's Carl Parker from My China Mode, and here we are uh, at the Indy Expo, uh, talking with folks from Lee Fan, and uh, Lee Fan has an exciting new product uh, that is experimental that uh, we'd like to have this product here. Take it away. Yeah. How you doing? My name is Bill Smith. I work for America Lafon. Uh, what we're introducing is our new 250 Enduro water cool. Uh, it's roughly 17 and a half horsepower. Um, we've got uh, a new, uh, new muffler system for it. Uh, reinforced stainless steel uh, frame. New uh, inverted shocks. And it uh, should be a very great model for us this year. We should be uh, seeing it at the end of spring, uh, the beginning of summer. So we really look forward to uh, bringing this into the market. Currently, the majority of Chinese bikes brought into North America are through importers who either resell multiple brands or spec bikes to be manufactured with their label. One of the most successful of these today is Q-Link, who showed their lines of ATVs, scooters, and their venerable XP XF 200s. Right next to Q-Link was Benchy. Benchy displayed what was probably the most promising Chinese bike of the show, the Magelli 250 S, M, and R. Here we are at the Benchy exhibit. Uh, Benchy's got some hot products for us today as well, uh, mainly a sweet line of 250s. We also have here Johnny, uh, who is running it, and uh, Johnny can give us some information about these bikes. So, yeah. Well, first of all, let me tell you a little bit about you know, Magali. Magali is a company in Europe. They design these three bikes. So you can see these three bikes. They are with the same you know, engine, same frame, same electrical system. And then these three bikes, they designed by Magali, but produced in China. Try to cut down the cost. But the quality control is totally done by Magelli. Now I see you have some very nice looking engine. Can you tell us something about the engine and the power output of the engine? Yes, this uh, engine is a water cooled engine equipped with uh, 27 horsepower. And the top speed for this bike is 85 miles per hour. So it's really, you know, we can cruise that about like 70 miles on the highway, 70 to 75. So this bike actually you know, is very ideal for beginners. Great. And if someone wanted to find out more about the company, where could they go? Oh, they can always go to our website. Our website is www.bemnche.com. Great. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. While the Magelli is a good-looking standard bike, the show also had options for those looking for something a little different. 
Ice Bear Trikes surprise guests with a great array of custom three-wheeled scooters and bikes. Hey, it's Carl here from My China Moto, and we've got Jeremy from Ice Bear Trikes. Uh, they've got an exciting new product here. It's called the Road Warrior PST 250-1, and uh, Jeremy's going to give you some descriptions about what makes this such a special bike and who it's really meant for. All right, thanks very much. This is our new PST 250-1. This is the Road Warrior right here. It's got an 18-inch front wheel, chrome. Got the spring front end, V twin engine right here, it's carbureted. It's got the heel toast uh, gear shifting for you. It makes it a lot easier when you're shifting gears. We added this right here, this chrome for your luggage. We got a holding bar for your passenger. This bike was built from the ground up. This is a custom Ice Bear trike. You'll never find this design anywhere else. This is a one of a kind piece that we custom built, patented for our product. And uh, this is a top speed of about 80 miles an hour. It comes with a trunk, so you can load your helmet, you can load your groceries, whatever it is that you want to put in there, you can put in there. Leather seats, flame mirrors, high handlebars, extended nose for a, for a real smooth front end ride. And the web address? www.icebearatv.com. Great. Thanks, Jeremy. If you like custom bikes, but two wheels is more your thing, check out The Heist by Cleveland Cycle Works. The Heist is a true custom chopper with homegrown design and attitude you can actually afford. Well, that's a wrap from this year's coverage of the Indianapolis Dealer Expo from My China Moto. For more information about the Chinese motorcycle industry in America and around the world, be sure to check out MyChinaMoto.com. And as always, ride safe, have fun.